Thanks for joining us today on Big Talk. This program may contain sensitive subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas! <laughs> Are you looking forward to the holidays? I certainly am. Are you? Of course. I Always. forgot your present in the car. Sorry. No. It's okay. I forgot to get you one. <laughs> oh, thanks. Love you too. <laughs> it's, we're here. This is our present. That is true. Making this show. That's right. I have you. Yeah. yeah. I have you. Awesome. Yay! Merry Christmas. Okay, today, have <laughs> today we have Anjali Sandu, who wears many hats as a law student and a comedian, as well as an actor. She joins us today as a comedian. Hi. Welcome. Hi, thank you so much for having me today. <laughs> We're very happy to have you. Great. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> End of interview. Exactly. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> Great. I said she's going to make a new, she's going to have an entirely new script. Absolutely. A new act. Based on us. Based on us. Yeah. Yeah. We just, we're, we're going to be your next headliner. For sure. We're going to give you some new work. Yeah. 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 Great. New, work, new test Perfect. subjects. Yeah. I will give you 0% royalties on that. So <laughs> I hope you're okay with that. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Just like, as long as you mention our names and put out the big talk, we're yep. fine. We're okay. good. Great. That'll, that'll yep. benefit all of us. Perfect. Yep. We're good. <laughs> good to go. <laughs> so... How did you get into comedy? So I don't have any other talents, so I can't sing, um, like, at all. <laughs> if I could sing, I swear I would be on every, like, if I could sing a little bit, I'd be on, like, The Voice, America's Got Talent. Yeah. And I would, like, because I've always wanted to be Britney Spears yeah. um, or Taylor Swift or whatever. <laughs> um, but I'm not, so I started stand-up just by process of elimination I guess um it was something I always wanted to try yeah. and it, I, it kind of went from I'd like to try this to I have to do this when I saw Chelsea Handler um the cool thing is I actually got to meet her last year which oh, was that's so yeah, cool it was a ton of fun she's That'd be fun. really she, she like, like yeah she comes off as kind of like mean and cold but she's actually the nicest like lady oh, wow. she like hugged me and like signed all my books oh that's, that's awesome good. it was fun I totally yeah. love that woman yeah yeah, yeah. She's awesome and how long have you been performing stand-up? So eight years, but not like consistently over eight years. So I know. I, well, like, I've known you for a few years yeah. now because I met you as an actor yeah. in acting, acting classes. Class. <laughs> yeah. Model. Yeah. And so she's also an actor. Mm -hmm. And I know you were starting then. Yeah. So that's been yeah. That's yeah. that was at least six years ago. Yeah. And you it's were weird. sort of just kind of getting into the swing of starting to really yeah. become yeah. somebody yeah oh thanks <laughs> i mean i yeah. i heard your stuff in class and everything you, you we we got you up there and yeah. it, we were cracking it was up fun. we it's were fun. cracking up i don't know everyone in winnipeg's just so supportive like yeah at, like acting in the acting community like yeah. towards the stand-up even in, in the law community yeah like people like the firm i'm at is they're always like oh are you gonna do stand-up for us i'm like absolutely not <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I don't know. It's just we it's weird, like, being in all these different worlds and trying to find balance between yeah. them. I don't know. It's weird. But it would give you lots of information oh, yeah. and lots of work. Lots of material. To work lots with. of material. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the problem with law is that people are like, oh, lawyers aren't funny. But it's just all the funny stuff that happens is confidential and we yeah. can't talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> but so. that's something to talk about right there. Exactly. <laughs> about how I can't talk about anything. Exactly. Great. Yeah, and just go line. into that. Exactly. Yeah, you got so exactly. much more than that you even thought you had. That's right? true. So. All my jokes are secret. <laughs> <laughs> See? You just came up with a whole new script. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't go that far. But well, you should. <laughs> it would certainly lead into something. That's true. Right? Maybe. It helps. Yeah. So, so what kind of comedian do you, do you see yourself as? It's a good question. I guess... I feel like I need, like, a thesaurus. <laughs> like, I, like, I don't know, like, circumstantial. Like, I draw a lot from my life. Yeah. Um, I feel like that's every comedian, though. Yeah. Knock-knock jokes. I'm really big on knock-knock jokes. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, give Can us a knock-knock yeah. joke. No, I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Knock-knock. Who's um, there? Angelique. <laughs> that's my <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> This took a dark turn. <laughs> um, yeah, I, um, I think that 
my jokes are obviously funny, but I think that there's a deeper meaning. So you get like level one where it's kind of just the punchline you laugh. Yep. But then I think people maybe go home after and they're like, oh, and That's they maybe why. think about things yeah. differently. Like after. Later. There's like yeah. level one, which is like if you're a little bit dumb, like that's all you get. But yeah. then like level two is if you're a little bit smarter, like yeah. you're like, oh, we get each other. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know when I've seen your senior skits, mm -hmm. the ones that I, I mean, I know several people that are of the same nationality and, and it's just like, I totally understand where you're coming yeah. from and I'm <laughs> killing myself laughing because I see these families together yeah. and I know what they're like yeah. and it's like, yep, that's right. exactly how Accurate. my friend's mom is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Accurate. Yeah. And you're level two. You're so level two. Funny. You're up there on level two. I just laugh all the way. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thanks. So how is it being a female comedian? I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> well, I mean, like, okay, there's a lot of male yeah, comedians. Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. like do male dominated. Yeah, industry. like, yeah. Um, I don't know. I think that in Winnipeg, we're kind of like when we when I started, it was like me and maybe five other women. Yeah. So it was kind of more um, like you kind of were. It, it was more pronounced back then, like yo, you're the girl. Or whatever yeah. now especially in winnipeg it's there's a lot more females yeah. on the scene like um dana smith she hosts um a women's open mic every on the first friday of every month at we johnny's okay um you're welcome i'm not even getting paid for that shout out <laughs> dana you're smith welcome, we join the club. <laughs> yeah the heck um and so it's a really good it's a really supportive crowd like i've yeah, I've heard a lot about it. I've seen, uh, I've been there, I've performed there, I've seen a lot. And, you know, if you're a female, or fe if you're female identifying, yeah. um, then you can go there. They're really it's supportive. It's a very of supportive them. Yeah. Oh, group that's if nice you wanted to, see. to try that. Nice yeah. to know. Yeah. I mean, because, I mean, it's obviously harder for, I think, more females. It's getting easier, but it was yeah. hard. Yeah. Like, you just look at Ellen DeGeneres compared to, right. you know, Eddie Murphy and, you know, and, Jim Carrey and right. Robin Williams. Yeah. I mean, you could name men coming out of your yin yang. Right, you could right. name There's two fewer, women. Yeah. You know, fewer, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That have made it big in the community. That's true. You know? That's true. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, there's I, a lot more competition. So. Or, like, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know. I've never thought. I've never. Can you imagine if yeah. I had never thought of it? <laughs> no. I, I get asked that a lot and it, it is getting better. Yeah. It is getting yeah. better. Um, I don't know. It's not like. So I don't think a lot of my jokes are like, no, that's not true. Maybe I was going to say not a lot of my jokes are about being a woman, but like, I guess every joke is about being a woman because I'm a woman. Well, of course. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I think that, I think that it's, um, a great thing is that a lot of men come out to the women's open mic too. Yeah. And like, they enjoy it just as much as well, that's good. the non-woman open yeah. mic. Yeah. The regular so open mic. So you're getting mic. support. Yeah. That's yeah, good. It's fine. That's good. That's really good. And how much, how much time do you prepare for yourself to go on stage? That's a good question. Um, so you kind of write like throughout your career. Right. So you write a joke and then you change it and you fine tune it and you kind of build on it. Like I have stuff that I did like in my first year that I'm still doing. And then a lot of it is just like getting rid of the crap. Yeah. Like you're like, this needs to go. Doesn't um, work anymore. Yeah. No. <laughs> Incorrect. Like the first, if I would never perform the first. Actually, I thought of this first show. It might be cool to do like comedians performing, like established comedians or like more experienced comedians performing their first set. Oh, I think yeah. that would be so funny. That, that would like, be. Because like I know mine is pure hot garbage. <laughs> so that would be interesting. Just like being so embarrassed and being like, I don't know, giving the people hope for yep. their futures. That might be cool. I have a question. Yes. I, because I've always thought about doing stand-up okay. myself. Yeah. But it's like kind of like, well, how many how many skits do you have? Like how many minutes of stand-up? No. How many different skits do you oh, hold how in many, sort like, of like pocket? Like well, so like, that can, you're not doing the same show yeah. every single time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Like um, I probably have like 45 minutes. Holy moly. So I like kind of, but like, I don't know, it's hard because you have like your favorite like staple right. jokes. And so sometimes like if you're unsure, you'll just go back yeah. to those jokes. And I've been working on writing some new stuff. Like I have some new stuff. Yeah. 
today. And what's what's um, the normal time frame that you get? Three minutes, five minutes? It depends. So if you're doing an open mic, it's probably between three and five. If you're doing an opening spot, you're probably doing 10. And then oh, if wow. you're headlining, you're probably doing between 30 to an hour. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you do need that amount of... Yeah. 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 So when you're on stage and you're, say your jokes are really going and then you hit... Mm -hmm hit that lull where it's like yeah. just nothing dead mm -hmm. pan mm -hmm. so like yeah i don't get that quite as much now thank goodness <laughs> um but when you start you will get that yeah. um and it's kind of just like the worst feeling you could experience yeah. but if you've already done it for a while and you've kind of been successful and you kind of are already addicted to that adrenaline of being on stage and getting that laughter from an audience you'll go up again probably yeah. um but i think that i've always said this to people wanting to try it out for the first time like stand up don't go without friends there and like yeah. support because if you go up there and it's your first time and you get deadpan silence yeah, yeah. like you will never go up yeah. again but you for me some exactly. that's what i'm thinking yeah support. that would probably be possibly me yeah <laughs> So my like, yeah, yeah. uh my first show my first two times doing shit stand up went amazing the third time is when the first time i experienced that like dead dead yeah. silence and i like sat in the back of the room and cried and I was, people are like this is why women can't do comedy oh. no one actually said that i just oh. made that up oh, you <laughs> oh, i just made that up right now that's nasty yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. not nice okay <laughs> you made us feel sad yeah, yeah. seriously yeah. <laughs> you're so upset that's why we have these two exactly yeah, yeah. Um, there's a reason that was here yeah but just um, make sure you have that support system the yeah. first time you go up. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. I, 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 kudos to you, man, because that takes a lot of bravery yeah. to stand up there and just, I guess, give it out there. I'd be like, I'm more scared, like not doing it. Yeah. Like just like all my talent, where will it go? <laughs> What's your obsession with Taylor Swift? I, I'm not <laughs> obsessed with Taylor Swift. <laughs> that is defamation. <laughs> Taylor Swift's lawyers have contacted me. <laughs> I'm not allowed to talk about her anymore. No, I just really like her. I don't yeah. know. She's so fun. Yeah. I, people were like, I wish that, like, so my show is called I'm Not Taylor Swift. Yeah. And, like, I wish that it was because I'm, like, cool. And I'm like, oh, I don't care about Taylor Swift. Like, people ask me, are you actually a Taylor fan? Like, hoping I'm going to be like, no. Like, it's just, like, a clever title. Yeah. Like, it's good marketing. Like, no, I genuinely yeah. love Taylor yeah. Swift. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to... Be friends with her one day. <laughs> but don't I tell her not lawyers. Doubt that. I Great. would not oh, doubt that. If I'm ever friends with Taylor Swift, she'll then like see this interview and be like, "I can't be your friend anymore. <laughs> like this is too weird." No, I think she'd laugh. Okay. I think well, she'd find it pretty. I'm funny. glad that we have speculated about Taylor Swift's <laughs> state of mind. That's great. That's all we can do. Yeah. She's not here. No. So we can make She's all not, the jokes we can. It's all hearsay. It's all hearsay. <laughs> well, as a as a student of law, yeah. you would know this. Yes. And that actually wasn't the definition of hearsay at all. I don't know why I <laughs> said hearsay. My evidence prof is going to be shook when he sees this. He's going to be like, Angelie, why have you learned nothing? <laughs> you better go back to school. Yeah. Day one. <laughs> yeah. So can anybody just be a comedian? Or does it take a certain kind of personality to go and do that? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Can anyone be a comedian? Probably not, because then everyone would, would be. Right. Possibly. Maybe. Um, can anyone be a comedian? Yeah, probably not. No. <laughs> you have to be special like me. <laughs> well, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> we thought we could take this show on the road. I know. Right? <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thanks. There's our gift. Yep, that's our gift. Stay home. Stay home. <laughs> Done. And are you going to perform something for us? I could. I hope I so. could. I How much are you paying me to do this appearance? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to do something for oh, you. Oh, good, awesome. good, good. Great. Okay. We'd definitely like to have you. Cool. And we will look forward to that. So stick around because after the break, we will continue talking with Anjali. And she, as she said, she will be performing for us. Welcome back to Big Talk. 
We are here laughing with comedian Anjali, and we will be learning more about what it is like to be a comedian. I think we already learned all that. <laughs> think so? I think so. No. Ah, no. Nah. 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 <laughs> but, but I do want to know yeah. how much acting do you put into your skits? Um, that's a good question. Um, how much acting do I put into it? I mean, yeah, it is a big part of it, like, knowing, like, what to emphasize, what to kind of, like, where to kind of talk slow. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, so I draw from real life, but obviously it's not verbatim, like, true right. stories of what happened. So I guess acting comes in in that sense. Um, and just, like, performing. Mm -hmm. um, actually, you have to be a lot bigger on stage than when you're in front of a camera. So, um Sometimes I tend to be like bigger in my acting and like I have to be pulled back. Yeah. I have no camera stillness. Yeah. Which is an actor term for moves your eyebrows too much when you're being <laughs> videotaped. Um, yeah. I know. I do the same thing. Right? Yes. <sighs> Jeez. That's like, make it smaller. Yeah. Stop indicating. Yeah. The audience is probably like, can you stop? We get it, Angela. You're an actor. <laughs> Not even though. No. I'm a comedian. Yeah, yeah, I'm everything. You are. I'm all things. All you need to do now is sing and dance. Okay, well, that You already said singing. I said I can't okay. sing, Cindy. That's Start right. rubbing it in. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Cindy. What about dancing? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> nope. Why? I don't know. You can learn. I just, like, I'm so awkward. You can I'm learn. Like, yeah, I guess, maybe. We can learn anything. Okay. Well, <laughs> great. <laughs> And how many, how long have you been in law school so far? Um, two years. Two so years. this is my last year. Oh, it's only a two year course? Three years. Three years? Yeah. Okay. So I'm in my third year. Oh, okay. And then what you do after is you have one year of articling. Um, so that's basically kind of like an internship. Okay. So I have to do that and then I will be a lawyer. And where do you do that? Um, so I am doing my articling at a firm in Winnipeg. Um, I probably won't say their name in case yes. I say or do anything offensive. <laughs> um, but it's a really wonderful fir firm. Like, oh, it's a good. big firm. It is the best firm in the city. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even say the name, so that doesn't help. No. But, um, they yeah. They know I'm, who they are. Yeah, you know who you are. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, but I, I'm really happy to be there. Yeah. So, yeah. What so, made you choose to go into lawyer? My into mom. To be a lawyer. My mom. Your, Your mom. mom. Yeah. Is she a lawyer? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's not. She just told me to be. Be a lawyer. Yeah, pretty okay. much. She wanted to be a lawyer. Like, she wanted to do the LSAT. Actually, okay. I don't know. One of the things that I don't love about law school is a lot, and it's the same for medical school or really any professional yep. school, is that there's these courses and they cost thousands of dollars. And so it's kind of an, when, you know, students from a higher socioeconomic status are able to pay for those courses or their parents pay for those courses. Um, it's kind of an access issue where, you know, people are people from lower backgrounds who can't necessarily, or not lower backgrounds, lower socioeconomic yeah. backgrounds, they can't necessarily afford that. And so it's not that they're not smart enough to get in, it's just that they don't have the same um, funding, funding as, access, as other yeah. people. Like, um, so we kind of have that Dispat it's not proportionate, you yeah. know, we, we are getting um, kind of these upper middle class kids going to law school. And so I kind of want to make a charity that, um, you know what? That's... That's... Yeah. to kind of fund kids in high school or in um, undergrad who want right. to pursue law school or medical school so that they can take these thousand dollar courses and have the same opportunities and advantages as everyone else. That's a that awesome was so idea. serious. That's, That's Christmas. Idea. That's fantastic. Uh, Christmas. So I want to like see how I can do that. Maybe I'll do a show. Maybe I'll do a stand up show to like well, yeah, start and make the all first. donations yeah, to it. And donate yeah, to yeah it. that would be wonderful. Yeah. That's an awesome idea. That's a great idea. Well done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks. Well, no, you, I didn't even know that. I yeah. wouldn't have even thought of that because it wouldn't dawn on me that it would be, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I know it's thousands of dollars. Yeah, but they're super it, expensive. For some reason, I didn't even think that, you know, lower income families are they not can. getting in and being lawyers exactly. because they cannot afford it. Exactly. Unless um, they get lots of grants and yeah. scholarships and everything Well, else. yeah, once you're in law school, you can get the loan from the bank. You can get the scholarships. But it's kind of before then, like when right. you're taking the LSAT or you're taking the MCAT or you're taking whatever engineers have to do. 
do they have an entrance exam? I'm sure they I do. know the doctors and dentists yeah. do. Yeah, so, so. I, I don't know, like just, like there's, everyone is smart enough, I'm yeah. sure, but you just don't have that private tutoring or that yeah. extra class, like, I don't know. Wow, I, I would, I see, I, that totally just opened my, my mind up mm -hmm. to something different, because I would never have thought of eating that. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah. I mean, that's, well, it's, I mean, I know people who go in as doctors and, and stuff, but I, again, most of them are middle to upper class. Yeah, yeah. And there are, like, there are people who come from a, a less privileged background that, yeah. that do it and too, that. but they have to work so much harder than everyone else who didn't get those courses. They have to do it all by themselves, so yeah. it's not fair. Yeah. And so no, that's very true. Yeah. Very true. That's, that's an interesting aspect to it. I so where do you see this law? Like, we're in law. Do you want to go with that? What like, side? What yeah. business side of it? Yeah. Uh, what do I want to do? So the crime. firm that I'm working yeah. at, <laughs> the firm that... will be that, arrested right away. Oh, oh yeah. God. I'm not allowed to give legal <laughs> advice, so um, I have to say that because the Manitoba Bar yeah. Association yeah. will sue me. They won't. Yeah. I don't know. I'm <laughs> making no representations on behalf of the Manitoba <laughs> Bar Association today. For where, where, which... Right, what avenue am I going yeah. to? Um, so the firm that I'm articling at does corporate commercial and litigation, okay. um, like civil litigation, mostly a little bit of crim. Um, I thought I wanted to do litigation, but I did um, this moot trial called Solomon Greenberg, and I lost at it. Well, I got to the, like, final. So they picked the top eight, and I got into the top eight, but then I didn't get top two. So now I'm like, I don't want to do litigation anymore. Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't win. <laughs> So, so maybe I'll do corporate commercial. I don't know. <laughs> Entertainment law would be cool. We don't have a yeah. huge. Yeah, that's a, that's something we definitely. don't have here. Yeah, we We've don't. Got, have, I think we only have two. Two like lawyers. Yeah, here. yeah. Well, there was a lawyer at my firm who used to do it, and they don't anymore. Yeah. So, so maybe we don't. I'll be like, I'll do it any. Now. Yeah. Maybe we don't have any. Well, we do. We do yeah, have no, entertainment no, I lawyers. I just yeah. don't know. I know they're very many, very few. There are between a lot. Yeah. But that would cover all of your all of your talents right there. Yeah. 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 See. Great. You can be your own lawyer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally. No, We're like you're some good at you know, know. good, good know. material. I know, right? When yeah. I get contracts, though, like as much as I want to be like, I would like this. I would like this. Like I'm, if I get an acting contract, I'm just like, I'll do it for anything. Like yes, I signed. I don't even read it. I do read it. <laughs> I do read it. I read every line. Yeah, I read all of it. Now you do. You yeah. probably didn't to begin with, right? I did, but I just didn't understand what yeah, I was reading. Yeah, and now, now I was like, I read it. it. Yeah, and now you're reading and you're going, oh, that's what that meant. Yeah, I'm like, oh, <laughs> oops. I no longer have my li rights to my own likeness. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you're funny. You're funny. Well, I'm going to enjoy our skit. <laughs> Great. <laughs> it's going to be fun. I know it is. And yep. we're going to invite all of our crew in to watch uh, They're going to watch me do stand-up. Yep. Fun. Okay. So Great. we will take a break and okay. have you set up and... Get ready to go. Perfect. I'm excited. Thanks for so that. So are we. Yeah. <laughs> that. love the holidays. I love the food. I love the music. I love the peace. I love the food. Uh, I really do love holiday music. I love music in general, but sometimes I feel like I really enjoy music that clearly was not meant for me. Like right now, my favorite song is Cowboy Take Me Away by the Dixie Chicks. And I know that song was not meant for my kind. I know that a cowboy isn't going to come in on a horse and sweep me off my feet. Okay, I'm aware that I'm not Taylor Swift. <laughs> if a cowboy is coming to take me away, it's because he wants me out of his country and back in Pakistan where I belong. <laughs> I'm not Pakistani. But cowboys don't know the difference between Pakistan and India. I don't even know the difference between Pakistan and India. <laughs> Everything I know about my own culture, I learned about. I learned from Julia Roberts in the film *Eat, Pray, Love*. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. Um, and you know, it's winter now. It's the holidays, and the thing that I like about winter is that there are no mosquitoes. 
Um, and the mosquitoes weren't too bad this year. Like I didn't get too many mosquito bites, but the ones I did get were really bad. Like one bit me right in the middle of the forehead and I'm pretty sure it was racially motivated. <laughs> I don't, I don't get why Indian women get mad at white girls for wearing bindis when the bindi was invented in the early 90s by Gwen Stefani. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Holidays are about family. Um, I'm one of three sisters, so we're kind of like the Kardashians, but uglier. <laughs> and I'm the Kim, so like, <laughs> mm. no, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Um, but it's really been hard for me growing up because I'm the oldest and being the oldest basically you go through your whole life not being able to do anything only for the youngest sibling to get to do whatever they want like my youngest sister she got to go to sleepovers anytime anytime any place me I asked my mom to go to sleepover once she called the other girl's mom with a list of questions one of the questions was does Valerie have any brothers Valerie's mom was like, yes, but they're not rapists. Like, <laughs> what? It was so embarrassing. And the most embarrassing part was the next question was, does Valerie have a dad? <sighs> My youngest sister now, she's 19 years old, openly gay, lives in Montreal alone to attend theater school. And my mom could not be more proud. This is the same woman who told me who I had to become a lawyer and said that I couldn't wear tampons until after marriage. <laughs> my sister confronted my mom about this and she was like, did you tell Angelie she could not wear tampons until after marriage? And my mom admitted it. She was like, it was a different time back then. It was 2004. <laughs> it was 2004. It's not funny. I still wear pads, guys. <laughs> I'm still wearing pads. Um, and, you know, since it's the holidays, see how I'm incorporating a theme here? See how I'm doing that so seamlessly, so naturally? Since it's the holidays, everyone's kind of desperate for, like, a holiday bay. And for me, dating is kind of hard because I live in a very awkward place where I'm not pretty enough to just get by on my looks, but also not ugly enough that people feel bad for me. Um, <laughs> I told that joke once and this really sweet lady came up to me afterwards and she was like, you know what? You are very funny. And you know, you know, you know what else? You are very pretty. And I was like, oh my God, I am ugly enough that people feel bad for me. <laughs> I, um, I was so desperate to get a holiday bay that I signed up for online dating and it didn't go well, guys. I don't know what I did wrong. I just uploaded my picture and I wrote a very basic bio, like fun, outgoing Hindu who loves spending time with friends and family. And I got nothing. You know, whatever, screw you, christianmingle.com. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you for coming out today. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have a pleasure having you here. Thank you for having me. And we will be back on January 8th with new episodes and have a great holiday in whatever way you celebrate and, and also a happy new year from Big, Big Talk. Talk. And Angela. Thanks for joining us today on Big Talk. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Until next time on Big Talk.